Now here on Oahu, it hasn't been as bad. We've seen a small preview of what's to come with some high surf sweeping debris onto Kamehameha Highway and some flooding here in town. The city says Ocean Safety rescued 70 people today and made more than 3,500 preventative actions. The State Department of Transportation confirms the power is out at Kahului Airport. Officials are asking travelers to check with their airlines for flight information before arriving to the airport. Nikki Schenfeld continues our coverage. This slow moving system can trigger flooding, landslides, road closures, and property damage. Officials are urging the public to prepare now. The National Weather Service anticipates as much as two feet of rain for portions of the state. Waikiki caught a glimpse of what's to come this morning as heavy rain flooded portions of Kalakaua Avenue and Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. There could be a few areas that get over 15 inches. Um, and, and possibly up to 20 inches of rain. Yeah, anytime we're looking at those type of rain totals, there's a possibility of getting catastrophic impacts, more than just your, what you'd get your typical flash flooding events. So definitely want people to be aware of that. He says Kona lows can bring other impacts like high surf, strong winds, and snow to the summits. Astronomical high tides and high surf push sand and debris onto Kamehameha Highway Sunday morning near Kualoa Ranch and Oahu's North Shore. The powerful waves pushing this concrete barrier towards the highway. Over on Maui, a section of lower Honoa Piilani Highway in Napili was already flooding. Piilani Highway near Kaupo remains closed after flooding on Saturday washed out the road. In Maui, you know, they've dealt with drought for a couple of years and um, some wildfires and, and those areas are really sensitive when you have heavy rainfall on an area that doesn't have much vegetation, then a lot of times that'll, that'll cause the, the soil to, to get loose and it'll cause rock slides. Definitely getting this type of rain, uh, as long as we don't get major flooding, is, is very beneficial for the, for the drought. Honolulu's Department of Emergency Management partially activated its City Emergency Operations Center. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi said in an email, we want people to be prepared and stay off the roads if possible during the storm conditions and download the HNL info app to receive alerts and information. Kauai can see impacts Monday into Tuesday. Kauai Managing Director Michael Dalig is discouraging hiking, swimming, and other outdoor activities that can put people and first responders at risk. We've had really, really strong Kona lows in the past. Even just within the past decade, there's probably been at least four or five notable ones that have, have caused significant damage. Governor Ige and Haima say they are coordinating with county and federal partners to prepare for and respond to any impacts this system brings. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.